The triumphant return. A taste of Madun storm petrol GPS tracking in the Azorian archipelago. So during the chick rearing period, adults only return to feed their chicks at night. And here is one of the adults that we've been waiting for for a while uh, to, to track. So we take the bird carefully from the nest and then after taking various other measurements, we'll uh, deploy a GPS tag. So we carefully attach the logger to the tail, as you can see here, and then the bird is returned to the nest and to its chick. The adult will then leave the nest at some point during the night and go out to sea to forage. In order to catch when the adults are returning to the nest, uh, we deploy internal cameras. And these have shown that the adults are coming back throughout the night, including the unearthly hours of 3.45 a.m. Uh, but the adults return um, to feed the chick and to hang out with the chick. Some spend a short amount of time, some spend a longer time with the chick. But it's during these times where we are also doing nest checks in order to try and catch the bird when we're wanting to retrieve the logger. So this is one of the times where we're checking the nest and amazingly there is the adult there that we want to remove the logger from. So we carefully remove the adult from the artificial nest box. Take a quick look at the logger to double check it's still okay and there. And then return to the house to carefully remove the logger. So here we have the logger safely back and off off the bird. So now we give it a quick rinse in water before attaching it to the laptop. And, and one of the most exciting parts of GPS tracking is being able to finally get the, the logger safely back, sometimes after several weeks of the bird being away and elusive. Um, finally, we get this first glimpse of where the bird has been going. This is the triumphant return of our final GPS bird that we've been waiting to get back. Unfortunately, some of the track is a little bit dis um, broken, but it still gives the distal point of how far this bird went, which was about 800 kilometers east of the Azores. This is a very typical error message that we get up on our laptops uh, due to the very limited power that we have out here on the islet. So it makes it even more triumphant that we're able to have enough laptop power to see this track. GPS tracking is a, a really useful fieldwork tool, for, especially for seabird ecologists, as it uh, provides these snapshots into where the adults are going at sea, where they're foraging, and um, being able to observe other behaviours that they're exhibiting during this time. And it provides a really useful information in order to better conserve seabirds.